Hi, I'm Dr. Sharon Harley. I'm from the Fulton DeKalb Hospital Authority, and I'm here to talk about health disparities in our community. The topic for this month is cervical cancer. Our community has an incidence of cervical cancer of about 9 to 10%. The Hispanic and African American community are disproportionately affected. The general incidence of cervical cancer is actually about 7%. Now, what we have noticed is that we have come a long way in deaths from cervical cancer. A large part of this decreased incidence of death from cervical cancer is actually due to screening. An important topic to get across is the guidelines are recommending pap smears every three years. My concern, women here, you see the doctor every three years. There's a difference. We still recommend seeing your physician annually. However, pap smear screening can be done every three years if a woman has had consecutive negative pap smears on three consecutive occasions in the prior 10 years with the most recent one having been five years prior. What causes cervical cancer? With extensive research and data, we have come to find that it is the human papillomavirus. Now, the human papillomavirus is very prevalent in the community. In college populations, the human papillomavirus approaches incidences of 80 to 90 percent in our college level populations. So you can imagine what screening mechanisms we need to diagnose cervical cancer. The good news is the majority of the times cervical cancer and the human papillomavirus actually will resolve on its own if it's caught in the early stages. Human papillomavirus is transmitted sexually. So essentially we are talking about a sexually transmitted infection that actually causes changes in your cervical cells that lead to cancer. Our discussion also included transmission of the HPV virus, but we spoke only about women. We did say it was sexually transmitted, so clearly your partner impacts how this disease progresses. One of the challenges we have in treating the HPV virus and screening for the HPV virus is that men also carry the virus, but we're screening women, but not screening men. We have made vast progress in treatment of this disease. However, we do not want to forget the African American, Hispanic, indigent community are disproportionately affected. So the biggest cure to treating this disease is actually treatment and prevention. Prevention being the operative word and a big part of prevention is actually screening. We suggest contacting the Fulton DeKalb Hospital Authority for all the resources and information on healthcare disparities and our topic of the month, cervical cancer. Thank you.